there, gorgeous? My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, a cord cutting, or a breakup coaching session, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half-hour FaceTime reading, today is the last day to enter. I will be drawing it tonight and announcing it tomorrow. You can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting blessing. I do have another half hour FaceTime giveaway going on at Scorpio222 on my TikTok. Well, we have a, a little snoring puppy in the background here, but she's waking up, chewing, then going back to sleep. So I don't know what she's doing. She's uh, recovering so well. We are going to get a look, see it, who it is that is thinking of you, Scorpio. Who's got you on their mind? And have a little fun here. Lighten it up. Let's see who thinks about you and what are they thinking? What do they want? What is their true intentions? I don't feel called to take that. Okay, spirit, I see it. Now, well, my guides are guiding me to... Uh, Give you the angel number download. I, <clears throat> for those who do not want to hear the message, you can just fast forward. We have an angel number 737, and uh, there is a meeting in here for you as I am being called to look. Those seeking their twin flame 737 angel number may signify that union is on the horizon. It encourages individuals to continue their spiritual growth and remain open to new connections that align with your soul's journey. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Angel number 737 is... Hold on. Scorpio. I've seen one that I wanted to go to and now I can't find it. <laughs> a lot of you, um, you are about to, if you've been seeing angel number 737 on the clock, on receipts or in advertisements, it could be a message from the universe as it tries to tell you something important. Angel number 737 comes to reassure you that you're on the right path to boister new creative spiritual awareness. Seven is a very spiritual number, Scorpio. Seven is a direct connection to your guides, to your angels. 737 suggests that you are about to meet a romantic partner who will push you to grow or that you'll find a new spark within a current partner. Take advantage of 737's creative energy by getting outside your comfort zone with a new hobby or trying a new experience. So double message in there for you. Some of you, the biggest message is there is a relationship that is about to either um, come back together or I'm so sorry for all the noise guys, uh, or you are about to meet a new person that will push you into, a, well, out of your comfort zone, into a new place in your life. Some of you are getting ready to go into alignment and true union will take place if your twin is also in alignment. Remember, for true union to take place, you both have to heal, grow, change, raise your vibration. If only one does, it just will not, you'll keep missing one another. You will either never reconnect or reconnect and break up, reconnect and break up because you are not in alignment. Tell me, Spirit, who is it that's thinking about Scorpio? Oh my goodness, I don't know what she's doing. She's seeping, she's chewing. She's so funny this morning. She's back to her little self she was still a little bit of a zombie yesterday but this morning she is funnier than ever deep spiritual partnership okay there's someone here that is thinking of you that you have a spiritual partnership with a very intense partnership they feel like you have a magnetic power this person uh really feels a lot of passion and desire. They feel like you are home. They can be a little over emotional and this person, you could have children to them. 
This is someone that you definitely know. For a lot of you, this person could be another Scorpio or they could have a sun sign in Cancer or a Libran rising. A lot of you here, this person hates superficial things just like you. They hate when someone is fake, phony, a fraud. They are a very individual. They are always an individual. Some of you do not know this person. This is somebody who is watching you from afar or you work with them or you see them at the corner market. They're doing their research on you and it will be a very spiritual partnership. Some of you, this person is a cook or likes to cook. Tell me about them, please. Who is thinking about Scorpio? See, they have a lot of lusty feelings for you, Scorpio. There's someone thinking of you that feels a lot of sexual desire. They feel this magnetic pull to you. As Scorpios, because we rule um, this, our, you know, the sexual parts, we rule desire, we rule that passion, um, that raw energy, often people will be very sexually drawn to you. Even if you have never been intimate with them, a lot of the times people will feel that magnetic pull towards you after meeting you because we are very sexy signs. This person has a very busy lifestyle. They have a lot of things they would need to do to come into alignment for you all to have a happy relationship. This is someone who could have a very intense sex drive that actually gets them in trouble. And it may be one of the reasons why this motherfucker's left to think of you instead of be in your life because they just cannot keep, they have ants in their pants. Let's just say, tell me who's thinking of Scorpio. Some of you have more than one person. You have somebody that you at one point had a home with. You could have had children too. Um, and then somebody new that feels very sexually drawn toward to you. This person's afraid of being vulnerable. You make them feel incredibly vulnerable, but they are someone that does not like to be judged. This person does not want you to judge them. They have stayed in the background because they are afraid of what you're going to say. Their shortcomings were exposed to you at one point. Um, they're deep in their emotions right now. They're trying to balance out their urges. You are being asked to be careful on who you trust if you meet someone new or somebody slags into your DMs or hits you up because they get your number from somebody or whatever and they tell you they feel you're so attractive, you know, and it's all about the way you look, bam, from the gate, this person is very sexual and they may want to have a sexual connection but not give you anything real. Some of you, this is the same person. Others, it is two people. Someone you do not know or know very lightly that has a major crush on you. And then somebody you had children to or you once had a relationship with that you now talk maybe once a week or you know once every few weeks you all are in separation, most likely your counterpart or your soulmate. Tell me about that person first. Let's talk about the soulmate, the counterpart, please. This is somebody, Scorpio, who may have a drinking problem. They may have a validation problem. Again, cancer energy, Taurus energy. Something projected to happen here between the two of you in cancer season. They look at you like you are uh, the bees. They couldn't look at you any better, Scorpio. This person puts you on a pedestal. This is somebody who looks at you like you are everything. You are uh, sexy. You are confident. You are smart. You are capable. You are grounded. And that's how they view you. This person is very slow, but the only night that I, I 
really like when it comes to love in um, the deck is the Knight of Pentacles because although the Knight of Pentacles is very slow and they are still a knight, this knight is very grounded, very steady. And when they make a decision, they stand by it. This person feels like you are very generous, but they had to make a head over heart decision and now they're moving quite slow. Something could happen around the June full moon towards the end of the month. There could be some things happening around the full moon cycle. Somebody here could have just dyed their hair platinum or you could be working towards doing that gray platinum look. Somebody here could wear a lot of purple eyeshadow. This person is intuitively sending you information and you know that they are thinking of you because you are energetically picking up on them. Now tell me about the new person. This could be a Pisces. It could be a earth sign. This could be a water sign as well. This new person looks at you like you are in your power as well here in the Queen of Cups. Like you are loving, caring, emotional, intuitive, but they are obsessing over you. There's someone that you have not meant yet for some of you. For 50% a, a of you, this is a new person. For the other percentage of you, the other half of you, this is the same person, your counterpart, obsessing over getting back in your energy, obsessing over wanting to be with you intimately. This person is too afraid to be judged. Something happened between the two of you that they have uh, held their energy back from you, but this person can't stop thinking of you. They're thinking of you all the time. They're thinking of you 24 seven. They go to bed, they're thinking of you. They wake up, they think of you. For a moment, they were running, they were avoiding, they were escaping. If you have been thinking about this person a lot, more recently than not, it is because they've got you heavy on their mind right now. Why are they afraid to be judged why are they afraid their shortcomings these don't even belong oh because they're disoriented and they were two-faced number one this is somebody who most likely played you and a third party they played you both out and now they are afraid to be judged they're afraid um you know something they don't know what it, you do know they're not sure what you know you will witness their karma though you're going to witness this person have their karma and they secretly keep tabs on your every move thank you spirit return to sender backfired on them whatever this person was attempting to do whatever dark energy they possibly were unknowingly sending to you it's backfired on them and you will witness their karma mm -mm -mm. In the next, let's say, two months, there is something that will transpire here that you are going to see what I'm talking about. If this person's car breaks down, they get sick, they lose a job, they go through a breakup with a karmic, whatever happens here, just know it's you witnessing this person's karma for being two-faced and acting this way. They could have cheated numerous times. You could have found more than one number on their phone, something like this. There was a lot that happened in the past, and now they are afraid for you to judge them. They are afraid of what you're going to say. So they're thinking of you 24-7, obsessing in the background. They feel chained and bound to you. This person feels like you are sweet home to them. They're... I'll tell you something. They seem to be with a third party who's pretending to be like you. They're dealing with a karmic that's a copycat. They caused you to act out of, of character. You could be having a lot of mood swings because you are picking up on this person's energy. You could be really mood swinging a lot. You really want to make sure you're cleansing your energy. They can't stand your shine. This person cannot stand to see you shine. And they are with somebody who is trying to be like you or copy you. Some of you found out this person was trying to 
act as if they were everything you ever wanted. They were trying to act as if they were um, exactly who you wanted them to be. And you found out that it was just an act. They were trying to get into your life. So they portrayed their self as someone they weren't. And you found out. There seems to be a, a large amount of work that would be needed for you all to come back together into union. With that being said, maybe some of you are up for the challenge. Others, you are moving forward and you have another person watching you on your social, especially if you post a lot on social media. There's somebody who watches you from a distance. They're very drawn to you, Scorpio. They're, they're obsessing over how to ask you out, how to talk to you. They're afraid to even talk to you because you intimidate them. You make them feel very intimidated. They could actually have a few drinks before they reach out, do something here to calm their nerves. They do want to, <laughs> they do want to reach out. It's going to be like a tower moment. Ace of Cups, beautiful. Those looking for a brand new lover. This person's a little obsessed, but I'll tell you, Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups moving in with the tower, baby. This is going to be an intense, intense, intense connection. This new person is coming in with gusto and it's going to be a automatic change to your life. The tower doesn't always have to be bad. Some of you, this person is going through tower moments in their life, clearing away old things so it opens up the doors for union. This person may have a lot of things in their life that has got to go and the divine is help giving a helping hand with the tower. It's going to be like a lightning strike when they reach out. It's already in the works. There's nothing else to be done here. What you want once you just know if there's some something you want out of a lover, write it all down. I will be um, doing a, man a love manifestation, six ways, you know, a six step way to work on manifesting new love because in the month of July, astrologically, the, the stars are aligning a lot of new lovers entering the mix into the collective's life. So um, you may want to check it out. Things that are about to bloom. New beginnings, rebirth, growth. The answer lies in the newness, not worth waiting for. Waiting to live a life not worth living. There will never be a better time. Holding on and missing out. Some of you, the message is you've been waiting for a, a lover to come in. In Scorpio, the answer lies in the newness because the only thing you're going to get is the same thing you always get, and that is hurt. The only thing you're going to get is neglected, lied to. So the answer lies in the newness. And if you start moving forward and standing fully in your power, you will be able to bring in a very beautiful love connection. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed Friday. Do something kind for yourself. Today is going to be the best. Today is the best damn Friday we've ever had. Today is the best day I have ever had. Tell yourself that. Look in the mirror. My name is Dusty Harkey, and all good things happen to me. Affirm it. Scream it out into the ethers. Love and light.